Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sushmita El Setla. You are watching my video just because you want to score 350 plus marks in your BITSAT. Yes, I know most of the people compete for this kind of examinations just to have a very bright future. Yes, I am I right? And today I really really excited, I am really much excited to give you some more extra tips and some more additional motivation for you guys in your race. Okay, let me start and let me give you all the clarity and everything like let me explain you strategies and the books that you need to read uh, to crack this big chat examination and the finger like I'll just, I'm just going to tell you the handbooks that you need for these things and uh, the way I, I'm going to explain you the complete way for this examination. So guys, without any delay, we'll just get started into our video. So, first of all, I want to tell you that if you are watching my video for the first time, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please do share this video as much as possible for you. Okay, let me get started into the video. So, now I am going to explain you about the level comparison. See, as I am showing you on my screen, this is the level comparison that you have. Okay, guys. So, uh, if you see that, Bitsat PCM is less than or equal to JE. And JE means is less than uh, KVPY and it is less than or equal to JE advanced. Okay, I think you got this and I am going to explain about this fingertip books, single book that you needed and everything. So, I am also going to explain paper solving. You know what, you should have some strategies also to solve the papers. It is not just that going to papers and collecting them and uh, may just preparing for for them no 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 uh, it is not that way yes yes of course you should uh, solve the papers but you need to have a small strategy also to solve the papers you need to have some little bit of techniques to solve the paper okay i'm going to tell you like uh, everything and what should be prepared like from where to start okay from scratch okay you need to start from scratch uh, everything is like everyone knows that how to prepare it from scratch because you need to learn everything from basics okay now let me tell you like how to prepare how to get 350 plus marks okay guys let's get started so I suggest you that to do this English and mental ability first okay so if you want to score good marks and if you want to motivate yourself in the examination hall if you want to get some positive and good vibes you need to start uh, sol solving your examination paper by english and mental ability and also first start your preparation with english and mental ability because it do it doesn't take so much of your time it gets like you just need to put uh, just a bit of like little bit of time where you can score a very good marks in your actual examination see it also takes very less time it gives you very good marks in examination and you know you'll get very good uh, what kind of good vibes okay hamaya i have done this i've finished this part and the rest thing is also i'm going to do it is like you'll feel yourself as a king or queen of your kingdom okay this is what i mean to say and the next thing is what you need to solve is uh guys chemistry physics and mathematics we do have this chemistry physics and mathematics as the next part so i suggest you to solve this chemistry as your second choice in your examination guys you might ask you might ask me that are you telling about actual examination or uh, preparation before the examination i am telling you for both you see when you are preparing also you should prepare in the same way i'll give you a like kind of flow chart here okay uh, you need to first prepare for english and mental ability and you need to also solve the paper in actual examination only this just start with uh, English and mental ability in your examination then go for chemistry and then go for physics or mathematics if you are really fine with maths go for maths if you are really fine with physics go for physics because never ever go for the toughest subject in your examination because it will lower your confidence so first go with the subject which is really really easy for you and which easily you can cope up with okay this is my first and very most suggestion to you guys so this is how you need to solve your actual exam examination thing and also your prepar preparation should also be in the same way see guys 
the most important thing i want to tell you is each and every question contains equal amount of marks so if you are feeling a bit tough with some subject then don't really go and stick to that subject go for another subject prepare well in that subject if you really feel easy go prepare well all the questions in that subject so that you will be covering this uh, you know if you are writing here 10 questions and in this hard subject you are unable to write even two questions then go for the easiest subject you know okay there you can write 10 out of 10 questions so you can uh, what will say you can manipulate your marks over here like you can adjust your marks in this way so what i suggest you is your preparation matters much in this bit set you should not leave anything even the toughest questions or also should be done by you when you are taking your actual examination let i'll explain you like what kind of books you need for this to prepare well and i am going to tell you the easiest way also wait for that and now i am going to tell you that for bitsat examination you need to study really each and every chapter from each and every a uh, single subject okay see that if you are okay now let me explain you about the paper solving uh, not only me many other experts or many other influencers will actually tell you to solve the papers as much as possible basically most of the students will stick to one criteria what is that criteria is they'll just first start solving english papers if if you really interested you'll go and solve all the english papers or else all chemistry papers or else all physics papers no not at all in like you should jump from each and every subject you should do english paper 1 uh, sorry english for one time chemistry for one time physics for one time maths for one time you should cover everything in a single round what what do i mean about this single round is you should do all the papers you should practice all the papers at a time not uh, like you should not choose the easiest paper you know like english i'll do all english papers today tomorrow i'll solve all chemistry papers no 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 don't do that you should do everything at a time okay if you are practicing uh, like questions from previous years or something you should really prepare every subject not one subject i know some people are like let me do it now Uh, like let me do this set of questions today i mean set of uh, chapters today in english and tomorrow i'll go to another subject no don't go like that do all the subjects in one sit okay then go for different different papers just do it in like in one sit you need to complete all the subjects okay all the four uh, all the four subjects okay so this is how you need to uh, prepare yourself for the examination this is the main thing because all each and every subject carries equal marks the subject carries equal marks and everything so that what you should think is everything what you are preparing is important equally important every subject is equally important here so according to that you need to prepare guys so next thing is like what kind of books do we actually need to prepare this is um harihan book so you need to go for harihan book i'm going to give the link in my description box just go and check this harihan book and one more thing is like you need all you need some handbooks what are mean by handbooks is some formula books so guys do not miss this formula books because most of the questions not most of the questions maybe 25 25 to 30 percent of the questions come from this uh, formula books so uh, you can by applying direct formula you can uh, actually solve the question if you see in je means very hard it uh, like they won't give you any kind of like formula and apply that formula in this question and you'll get some answer it won't be happening in your je means but in bit set it is it will happen most of the questions like not most what i'm saying is 25% of the questions they'll give you by like by using formula you can uh, crack the question so if you are feeling like if you are feeling one subject like example physics is your toughest subject uh then prepare all the formulas from each and every chapter so that you are having very good score like you are having very good chances of scoring here also so that is my uh saying guys and uh, rest of the thing is your wish and fingertip books and everything i am going to give you in description box please go and check my description box links are available i hope my video 
is really helpful for you because I told you how to prepare and uh, by using my tricks and tips you can score easily 350 plus marks and the books I am going to recommend you will also help you to score very good marks guys. So this is for today and you people are like completely asking me what uh, like just tell us how what important tips and everything. Uh, so not only me anyone can just guide you only in this way guys and hopefully i am successful in doing that so if you like my video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and your one subscribe and your one like means a lot to me and please share this in your groups or somewhere who maybe people might find it useful that's it for today guys start take care all the best